Oh, hello there, beautiful. You beautiful angel, you. You gorgeous butterfly. Did you just hatch out of your cocoon? Because you're looking quite butterfly-ish. Hi, how are you? Okay, so, welcome to Hairdresser Reacts. This is the first ever Hairdresser Reacts. Nope, it's actually the hundred, the hundred thousand Hairdresser Reacts. So, you guys know how these things work. And today, we're gonna be doing a fun little video. A fun little video because it has neon in it. And we, I, sorry, I won't speak for you, but I love neon hair. I think it is, whew, Really a look this year. We're gonna be seeing a lot more neon. I predict, I think there's gonna be a lot more neon in the world. And a lot of girls are taking that risk and going neon. And I am just here for it. I want more of it. Give me more, give me neon pink, give me neon purple. Is there neon purple? Give me neon green, give me neon yellow. I wanna just have the neon falling from the sky. I want it to rain neon. That might be a little scary. So maybe not that, but neon hair for sure. So today we're gonna see people color their hair neon. <laughs> color their hair neon yellow, orange, and green. And it's gonna be spicy and fun. And I am just ready for it. So you guys, let's get it started. Let's do it. Today's first video comes from a girl named Amy, and that is her name, and we're going with it. Ruining my hair by dyeing it yellow. Oh, Amy, I can't wait to see you do this. You know, the best way to just do something is to like, just do it. Obviously, the best way to dye your hair Sounds legit is to, to me. Just kind of, the best way to do it is to just do this. Huh? Brad Mondo is crying. Aww, I didn't even know that she was gonna say that. Hi, Amy. You're in one of my videos now. It's funny because I actually looked at this video and I was like, do you think she did this to be in a hairdresser reacts? Amy, I don't know if that was your plan, but you did it. <laughs> Amy, you're going in and your makeup looks sick. Sickening in a good way. Amy, I want to know what the plan was here. Why are we going on the hairline first? Because Amy, the hairline has the most fragile hair. You don't want to go in the hairline first because that is the first place hair breaks off. You always gotta do the hairline last when you're bleaching your hair, all right? And um, you should probably get the back first so you can work from down here up. It would just be easier for you. But you know what, Amy? Because you watch my videos, I, I love you no matter what. So it's all it takes for me. I kind of hate this. It's so dry and gross, but I so for some reason, she looks really good with yellow hair. And um, this isn't even the neon part yet. And it already looks really good. Her skin tone just really works with yellow. I think it's also like the eye makeup that's really making the look come together for me. But girl, who did your hair? Who did your hair off camera? Because it looks good and it doesn't look like you missed any spots and it looks perfect. So Amy, I'm coming for you. Coming for your gig, girl. Because that doesn't look like you just did that in your bedroom. It looks like somebody did it for you. But who knows, I might be wrong. I've never been wrong, but I might be this time. It's already basically yellow, and I don't think this dye's gonna go over because my hair's too dark. No, it, it's actually really good that you kept your hair yellow because now all that yellow is doing is going over yellow hair, so it's only gonna make it more yellow and more perfect. If you had white hair and you put yellow over it, it might not be as vibrant. So it's actually good that you kept your hair yellow. It's like if you're gonna dye your hair orange, you don't need to lift it past the orange to then bring it back to orange, if that makes sense. You know, if, and if you're gonna dye your hair red, you only have to lift it with bleach to the red stage and then put a tone or gloss, whatever you want to call it, over that to make it more vibrant and more red and the desired tone you want. So, it's actually a good idea that you didn't lift it any farther than this. Amy, so smart. I'm gonna like, go ahead and just scoop this out. She's so pretty. This is professional. There are gonna be some orange bits, but I don't care. Like, mm, I don't care. I don't know if this is bad. I'm just gonna put this all I think this is great for Amy. Honestly, I fully support your life right now, Amy. Spill some truth. Okay, I can't even snap because my hands are stick. But I'm gonna just talk. Okay. I have had the worst like year and a half of my life. Oh. And it's been tough, but it's cool. I am kind living. of depressing. I'm actually not, I hate myself. This is a Amy, good example of No, it's not okay. Of love yourself. Head. I love um, you. I like the colour on my head now. Me too. I don't think it's gonna be this colour. <laughs> I do. Now, maybe it looks a little bit less gay, but now this is like Yes! I love her. I don't know about everyone else. I don't know. Well, but I feel great. 
You look amazing, Amy. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You look like a punk rock princess glam queen. I have never seen anything better for somebody. Honestly, Amy. <laughs> Awesome. It looks amazing. It's definitely more green than yellow. I'm gonna put some green lips too. I feel like that will make the look. Yes, neon yellow green moment for Amy. That is how you do it. And she looks sickening. And I love it. And she, you, Amy, you need to keep your hair green. That's the conclusion I've come to. And moving on. Next video, we have means. I let my hair cells choose my hair color. Ooh, fun. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh, yeah, she's got some banding going on. She's gotta bleach the mids before the roots. Those fries look disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. It's a sad excuse for a fry. We're, we're bleaching the roots now. We're just getting a nice, even slate of color. That's what's going on right now. Yeah, it's a little um, yellow on her roots. Could have definitely processed that longer. But I mean, it doesn't matter because she's not going blonde right now, but it, when it fades out, it might be a little, a little orange, a little orange, but that's okay. It still looks good. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. I forgot she was doing neon orange. So it's fine that she has yellow roots because she's going red and orange. So take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, this is so pretty. With her skin tone, it's gonna look so good. You know some hairstylists like don't do colorful hair? Let that sink in for a second. Yeah, some hair colorists refuse to do colorful hair. I'm sorry, but why? Because like, it just makes you happier doing colorful hair inside and out. And so I don't understand that. I mean, you can, just very, very little of it. Yeah. I can't wait to see this hair color with her green nails and her beautiful skin tone. It's gonna look killer. Oh. It look like little Cheeto nugget. Oh my God, she's so pretty. I mean, pink would have been beautiful too, but orange is such a more, is so much more of like a standout cool color. I think this works a lot better for her. It's gonna be so bright when it's dry. This makes me wanna go orange. Remember that time I was orange? That was good for me. All right, can we dry it? Oh. Yes. Wow. Wow. Oh. Okay, it's not quite neon. I'm gonna admit it. But it is beautiful and it is bright and it is orange and it is whew, fabulous. Yes. Neans, you killed it. You killed your hair. No, you didn't. It looks great. It means. Means. This is your look and this is what you should be rocking till the day you die because it brings out everything on you. You look spectacular and I'm so happy for you. With that said, let's move on to the next video, which is the last one, which is lime green. Definitely a trendy color right now. So let's check it out. This is by Petra H. Lime green hair dye tutorial. We are always ready for a hair tutorial. By the way, this video is gonna be muted because it's just copyrighted music, I'm pretty sure, so. We don't like copyrighted music. Lime green hair tutorial. Ooh, what is this? I, Ioria. Ioria, whoa, I can't read. Iroyero. I'm sorry, Iroyero, but that's a terrible name for a hair dye because no, no idea what that says. Premium natural semi permanent hair color. Natural. Ha, ha. I'm gonna give that a try someday. All right. Well, it looks like she's going in with a really dark color. It looks as if it's black um, and her hair is already pre-bleached and it looks pretty good. She didn't miss any spots. So like that's a that's definitely a plus. I'm overseeing you girls out there with uh, uh, <laughs> with missed spots of, with missed, I got it. With missed, 
with your natural hair still showing in some spots. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I see a lot of you girls doing it and it's not cute. Just make sure you color it all if you're gonna do it, all right? And this is looking sickening right before my eyes. This green is spectacular with that dark color. Major moment right now and makes me wanna color my hair green. So if you see me next week with green hair, this is why. And she's going in and she's not missing any spots because you know what? She knows what she's doing. You can tell this technique is just spectacular. She's going very thorough. I'm here to just appreciate it and watch as this beautifulness unravels before my eyes. She is getting to the top and she is making her way and she is putting her best effort in. But we'll see what happens on the next side. She might put a little bit lesser effort in because sometimes people get tired when they get to the second side of the head. And I'm not saying that's me, because no, I don't get tired when I'm doing hair. I love it the entire time. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hate that there's two sides to a head. I just hate that there's two sides to a head, because I'd rather just do one, because I'm lazy, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, she looks fierce, and she's not giving up. She is putting her best effort in on the other side of the head, and I am proud of you for that. I am proud of you, Petra. That is how you do it. And those ends, I'm not going to lie, look a little bit scary. They look a little bit overprocessed, and it looks like the bleach overlapped a few times. So for that, I'm gonna say, Petra, please. Stop bleaching those ends because they look a little bit pissed off at you. I'm guessing she had previous colored hair and then she removed the color with more bleach and then her ends are being bleached and bleached and bleached and bleached and bleached and they're looking like they have been bleached a few times and I think you should give them a little bit of a rest. But other than that, this is very beautiful. And she's doing a little blend um, to mix that black and that green together. It is really cool. I hope that black stays um, just because, you know, blonde, blonde hair is super porous. So usually like if you try to dye her black on top of white hair, it doesn't really take very well. It'll probably turn out a little bit like, like gray. Oh, okay, so yeah, it definitely turned out way more gray than the extensions like I predicted, but it like really works. Like it it has that sort of like soft blend going on that really looks nice without having too much contrast at the roots. It's not like black and green. It's like gray to bright green. But now she's putting the extensions in. So let's see what the overall thing looks like. I am excited. It's very like emo style and I am loving little emo. The front looks a little darker though, it does. Wow, what a pretty color. I can't believe she did that herself. That's talent, man. That's hard to do and like not miss anything. Those are mad long, dude. <laughs> mad long. Just a little tip, Petra. Instead of putting those extensions right here to hide the fact that you have really short hair, which looks like that's what you're doing, you could always just braid up that small underneath section before the first extension you put in. That way, when you pull your hair forward, there's no short pieces coming forward. You can always do it this way, but I feel like that might be a little uncomfortable having all that like extensions down there. Not saying I know everything, okay guys? I just am saying what I know. Y'all always think that I hate everybody and like think everybody doing their hair wrong. Like, no, just giving you my advice. You don't have to listen to it. And this color is dope. I am here for it. Petra, you look great. It is definitely a look and you did an amazing job on this green. Like the black to green fade is so pretty. Yeah, I would just maybe like finish your hair a little bit more, like a little more straightening or something. I don't know, but it looks sick and I love it, and you look amazing, and I think everybody should have neon hair. Basically, that's the moral of this video today. Woo! So, I think that my next look is gonna be neon green. You guys let me know if that might be a vibe for me, because I think it would be. And that is all for today, ladies and gents. And I thank you so much for watching my videos, because you make me so happy and make me feel like the luckiest person in the world. And I appreciate every single one of you that watch every single time I upload because you are so cool. <laughs> That's me trying to make a uh, emotional speech, a touching speech. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching today. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on my social medias and don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.